it was amazing for us to come together. The people that we have working on our team are very much gamers to the core, and um, it was amazing. I mean, it was really, it was really amazing how how well our cultures work together. Honestly, I think Voodoo brought a little bit of the authenticity uh, to the group that we needed in order to develop uh, a consistent, authentic product. Everyone was passionate about gaming from all aspects, from even even the labs. Uh, people who are contributing from the labs were hardcore gamers. Uh, people from HP Gaming were gamers, and uh, obviously Voodoo has the gaming DNA running through them. So, um, you know, coming together, working together was a very good process. Everyone knew that this uh, product had to be the best that we all could put together, and uh, came together pretty well. Well, the first Blackbird, um, the, the team was uh, was was uh, put under a, a different dynamic of innovation. At that time, they were focusing on engineering first and not design. Uh, they weren't really focusing on the customer at the end of the day, I, I, I believe. Um, so, so when we saw it, you know, during the time of the acquisition, um, I, I was pretty critical about it. You know, I, I, I made it clear, and I think you know, we made it clear about our thoughts and what we didn't like about it, and what we did like about it. And um, and and it was interesting because during the time of the acquisition. How I met, or how I knew about Mark was, we were in the room at HP, my brother and I. You know, I had like a yellow laptop, he had a red laptop. You know, we're talking with Paul and Mark about, you know, HP acquiring Voodoo. And then Mark Gerberman, that is. And Mark Solomon was applying for a job with the team. And he was outside the room, and he couldn't know we were inside the room. So it was actually kind of funny when, when he came around and, uh, you know, applied for this job. But he was, he basically sparked this kind of new way of, of designing you know, Blackbird, and that's kind of how this 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 overall look came came forward. Inspirations uh, definitely took cues from automotive industry, as well as uh, a little bit of science fiction, as well as uh, three-dimensional graphics, um, vector type, 3D um, gaming. Uh, obviously, is on the cutting edge of all three-dimensional design stuff. So. Those are some of the main key elements. HP didn't just stick a bunch of people in a room and ask them to be cool. I mean, they built a team uh, that, that understands gaming, understands cool in general, understands really what it's about to, to make a really cool product, and they let us do what we want. They didn't give us, you know, uh, timelines and deadlines and costs and that sort of thing that we needed to meet. They just said, go out and create. And, um, and you know, yeah, we created a cool product as a result, I think. I think when, uh, when it hits the market, it's going to obviously be recognized as an interesting design, the fact that it is custom, uh, but I think it's probably going to be known for uh, the functionality and the end customer experience, because it really did hit the mark. The fact that it somewhat hovers above the table, I think that's pretty good. Uh, Key differentiator. For me, I'm, I, I really like the hard drive, uh, you know, removable bays and being able to uh, pop the drive out without breaking the SATA connector. This machine is everybody's dream machine. Like in the enthusiast space and the gaming space, this is the one that, uh, you know, everyone's going to look to and be compared to. Um, it's nuts. Like, I mean, it is absolutely nuts when you think about all the innovation, all the all the IP that went into this box and really all of the passion that's, you know, kind of boxed up inside here. I mean, it is it is absolutely crazy what we've done, I think. Well, you know, I felt a lot of emotion uh, at the first major event we had with HP where, where, you know, there was big voodoo banners everywhere and being able to see, you know, voodoo uh, in, in the big lights, let's say, was very emotional. Um, I... Yeah, I, I think it's going to be an emotional night for me to see this thing launch, for sure. I was uh, right when Project Blackbird was uh, be uh, sorry, right when Project Blackbird was starting. I was uh, currently looking for other employment, and uh, actually had two different job offers, and needed to. Uh, well, the real story is, I called up the vice president of design and said, "I'm leaving," and he said, "Give me two weeks." And um, uh, two weeks later, I got in contact with Paul Campbell, and uh, that's the day that uh, I met up with him while he was talking to Raul and Rowdy, and I told him I wanted to be a big part of this. We weren't just designing one product, we were designing a business, and we looked at it from a holistic approach of what would we do for the entire business. So when we atta attacked Project Blackbird, we attacked 
Project Blackbird as if, what would we do in the desktop space? What would we do in the laptop space? What would we do in the mobile space? What would we do as a business unit to take over um, in terms of uh, the best possible um, solution and customer experience, take over that spot? Based on the feedback that we've received, you know, and I, I don't even think our team realizes this yet, but you know, we have effectively uh, brought innovation back to the desktop, right? And, and there's a lot of innovation that's inside here that will be brought up to Voodoo, but at the same time, the cool thing about Voodoo exclusive products and, and the products that we're creating on the, on the top of the pyramid is we have a little bit more buffer in terms of the, uh, the amount of money we can spend on the IP that we put inside those things. And, um, and, and what's good about that is it allows us to then eventually bring it down to the mainstream. I think it's huge. I mean, I really think it's huge. I think once, you know, once Blackbird rolls out and people start to see you know, what a cool product it is and that sort of thing and, and the type of halo that it brings to HP, I think it's, we're going to see this type of example uh, throughout our entire portfolio. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's huge. It's also already had ripple effects um, from a design and engineering perspective. Um, I've already um, worked with some of the designers in the desktop group to uh, cross-fertilize or cross-share um, you know, certain things that we've done, and it's definitely being implemented, particularly from the inside of the chassis. One thing it's done is it's enabled designers um, in other groups, uh, I guess business groups see what we've done on the inside, and the attention to detail and the voodoo DNA aspect, they want that same attention on their desktops now. So it's definitely having a big influence. When, when we first saw Blackbird, uh, we were asked to kind of go back and share it with our team in Calgary. And you know, our team is mostly comprised of gamers and enthusiasts, right? And uh, you know, there was an overwhelming positive response. People were blown away by you know, what, what was happening at HP, that you know, the ball had already started rolling, that this team was built up, and, and they, were just, you know, they were just looking for this key component to help take it to the next level. And we went through Blackbird with like a fine tooth comb, and we came up with like four or five detailed pages of, of changes, mostly on the inside, you know, on how, and, and that is really how Voodoo DNA came into place, because you know, there was a lot of things on the inside, the layout, the way the cables are run, like the airflow uh, with the cables and that sort of thing uh, that, that we brought into play. The other thing that was interesting is going around HP and borrowing some of the IP from various business units. Like, for example, the Toolless, uh, the, 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 the Toolless technology we have with the removable video cards and the hard drive removable bays. You know, all of that stuff was sort of borrowed from other areas of the business. And, and that's really neat that we can kind of go around. It's like a... It's like a uh, you know, my, my brother described it once as, uh, you, you know, walking around uh, uh, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, you know, and, and, uh, and, and that's how I felt coming into the job. I mean, it was just such a cool place to be and, and, and you know, and a very, everyone was very open-minded to what we were doing. Good. Th that, that means wrap it up? Yep. Wrap um, it up. That's, that's a go.